Hello everybody, Brad Pointer here with another reaction to a Rush song that I haven't heard before. If you want to know why that there are Rush songs that I haven't heard before, check that link up there. But now, one that has been highly anticipated amongst the comment section is a song that is the ninth song on the album, I believe. I think so. Yeah, I think it's not the song. Anyway, it's called Earthshine. And a lot of people have said, Oh, I can't wait till you get to Earthshine. And people have said, Oh, my favorites on this one are blank, blank, and Earthshine. And it's been one of the most highly mentioned ones. So I'm, I'm anxious to hear it. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. All right. That's interesting. Um, there's a lot of... Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss. This one... I'm having trouble defining what they're doing. But it's but it's cool. Um, yeah. I'm, I, I'm at a little bit at a loss. So I'm going to just keep on listening. And hopefully we'll get found. getting a little bit a little bit more of an idea of what's going on now um, I believe it's buyout but um, it's it's there's a, a high and a low that are going on on the bass side and then Alex is of course you know being Alex and I'm just, it's enjoyable. Yeah, okay. And this is one of those that, it's going to take a minute for me to, for me to, for this one to hit me right. 
because it's it's one of those it's got a it's got a place let's see what's going on It's overdubbed, okay, and I know it shouldn't take me that long to figure something out, but with with Getty, you never know, because there have been times when I've been like, that sounds like there's two bass parts there, but no, it was just one, and he had it split out in um, different ways, um, but that was, there's some really compressed um, bass chords that are going on big, big, big they're following what the guitar's doing and then there's a really kind of old school getty distorted um, fast finger bass thing going on that's uh, that's aside from the bass chords but also with it I think I think that's what's going on um, I don't know though, you know, maybe it's Alex messing with my mind. I don't know. That's why I'm, you know, sorry on songs like this, this is where me being a bass player, I'm going to listen to Getty, you know, um, so the rest of everything else that's going on is going to take me a minute to figure out because I've got to figure out what Getty's doing first. Or at least, you know, get a get a mental handle on it. And then I can kind of hear what everybody else is doing. And so far in this one, this one's the one that's that's caught me off guard the most. <laughs> good um 
I'm sorry if the expressions on my face, you know, you're like, Brad, do you not like it? No, I really do. I'm taking it, once again, I'm taken aback by it. Um, it's, there's a lot going on in there. There's a lot going on in, in that song. Um, lyrically, I, I couldn't even tell you what it's about lyrically because I, that's not what I was what I was listening to. Um, there's so many voices in the bass uh, on that one. And there's so many um, mirrors, you know, the guitar and bass mirroring one another. Um, that there. It's a lot to process. That one, that one, I'm going to have to listen to that one like 20 times before I even can, can make a, a rational thought on what all's going on in there. But, um, that doesn't mean it's not very pretty. It's a very pretty song. Um, and for what it is. I mean, how do you make a, you know, pseudo, progressive metal song <laughs> uh pretty well the, the, that's how you do it anyway uh, i think that's going to be it for my little recording session for today um thank you guys so much for for watching this video and for watching any other videos of mine that you've watched i'm i'm just overwhelmed by by how many folks are are taking interest in, you know, what this old hillbilly thinks about anything. But uh, I sure appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.